go. Oh, what a start from Todd Wiltshire. Absolutely amazing off the line. The Australian who won the semi-final. He's up front again, chased by Lee Adams in red. And now watch Michael Carlson in white. And round the outside, here goes Ryan Sullivan. All three, all four of them are going for it. But look at Ryan, gets his wheels in line. He goes past the other fellow Australian, Todd Wiltshire. He's going for his first win. Where did that come from? He's back to second, now he's back in front. And Ryan Sullivan determined. He is so focused this year. He's been talking about how much extra training he's done, extra fitness regime, and he's out in front. And Todd Welcher, does he have an answer for it? Oh, Michael Carlson's just climbing up the inside of him there. Don't make a mistake, Todd, because Michael's right there, but Ryan's out front. What are you gonna do? Ryan Sullivan, runner-up in the points, coming into this event. Now he's got a real chance of challenging Rick Hudson in those championship points, but it's not over yet. Todd Wiltshire in second, Michael Carlson is in third, and Lee Adams finds himself at the back. Todd Wiltshire's not gonna get off that inside line, but there goes the happy man, Ryan Sullivan, across his first win, Ben, he's done it. That's fantastic, and look at the pleasure, the delight for Ryan Sullivan. Top eight finish at the end of the season. What a start from Chris Holder in blue. It's all very tight there with Crump. Watch out for Crump up the inside. It's all wheel to wheel down the back straight and Holder has pulled clear. Crump is second. Here comes Hans Anderson in yellow, but Hapwell is still in the mix for third place. Holder though, and his debut British Grand Prix, he's under pressure from Crump now. He was so beautiful. He mathematically worked that out over Hapwell going into turn one. Didn't lose his composure. Look at him now, right in the middle of the track. He's leaving the door wide open from experienced boys on the inside of him. This guy's brave, he's confident, he's working the racetrack. To repeat what I said earlier, three weeks ago, Chris Holder, who leads the British Grand Prix final, thought he'd broken his arm in Torren, and yet here he is, on the verge of a dream victory. But Jason Crump's coming oh. back for more. These two had a bit of afters a little bit earlier in the meeting, but it looks like Holder's gonna have the last word. Chris Holder, on his British Grand Prix debut, has taken a dream victory. Yes, the street top with his finger off the button and Limbach's made a beauty. And Terry Limbach has got that lead. Hancock has gone wide. Woffenden is in the back now. Hancock holds second spot. Third is Bartosz Naslik. Here comes Woffenden, who has just Whoa! gone from last to second. What a ride from Ty Woffenden in the white helmet. Got up. He's trying the inside. Run down the back straight. He's got lots of speed. Limbach now holds the lead. Woffenden, though, is going to really push hard. We are after two laps now. Lindbach has the lead, but Woffenden's not done yet. Woffenden coming up the inside. And Xavier Lindbach slams the door shut. They force wide. What a ride it is from Woffenden. Lindbach away from the tapes was sensational. Smart against third with Hancock out the back. Lindbach down the outside. It's just got a little bit of breathing space. Woffenden now in the dirt. Square in the corner of it's Lindbach. And Antonio Lindbach is the winner in Cardiff. That is him, Antonio Limbach's third win of his Grand Prix career. Never won one. Maybe it's his chance tonight in white. Away we go, good start from Hampel. Rick Hudson trying to go around the outside, and he's still there, right around the outside goes Rick Hudson. I can't believe what I've just seen, Ben, that's unbelievable. He shouldn't have been able to get away with that. He's ridden the wall of death there, right around the air fence. Unbelievable stuff, Rick Hudson riding his luck, hits the front. Can he win again tonight? Oh! Problems there for Hans Anderson, and he's just lost that second place. He'd taken it from Jaroslav Hampel, and now he's just thrown it away. But what riding from Tony Rickards, and he doesn't need to push. He's going to get a big lead in the championship, but we saw one of the most daring manoeuvres of the whole season, of several seasons, just a few moments ago. Yeah, I've got to agree with that. He didn't need to go that hard tonight, but look at him, he is in a class of his own. Look at the lead he's got, it's huge. Bjarne Pedersen is still trying to get past Jaroslav Hampel for second place. Hampel, is he holding on? It's a great battle behind, but it's a completely separate race. Tony Rickardson is going to come through to take the victory. Second place just goes to Jaroslav Hampel. Well, what a reception for this man. Tony Rickardson, five times world champion. Now, perhaps even more so, looking towards his sixth world title. Hancock's there has got some unexpected drive now, and Harris is coming through to second. Crump is there outside him. Harris now leg trailing around the outside as Crump comes back up the inside. Hancock has the lead.
lead from the second, and Harris now there, and now Harris on the inside of Uncle, just about manages to hang on. What an opening left for speed by Chris Harris once again. Can he hit the front? He's nearly on the front. He's level picking with Hagel. Hagel closes the door. Can he hang on there? Oh, and a shape one again. What a race. Harris has got the speed. There's over a lap to go in this race. Hancock is holding the inside line. Hancock, one of the most popular riders in World Speedway. But it'd be even more popular if he was passed by Harris down the backside. 